You become painfully aware of your back whenever you abuse it. Maybe you've lifted too much weight. Or stayed seated too long without a break. Or worked in an awkward position. Then suddenly, ouch, your back lets you know it. Almost everyone has had back pain at one time. Sometimes it hurts a lot. Then you remember, my back, I've got to be careful. But you're much better off taking care of your back before pain sets in. You can live your life without back pain if you use your head and remember to protect your back from injury. Now, let's get started. Many back injuries target your spine. Your spine is made up of 24 specialized bones stacked on top of each other. These bones are called vertebrae. Between each vertebra is a spinal disc that separates and cushions each bone. The bones and discs act to protect your spinal cord, the main link between your brain and the rest of your body. Your spinal cord is delicate and easily damaged. Add to this fragile structure muscles, nerves and other body parts that can also be injured. It's not important that you memorize the anatomy of your back. Just remember that it's fragile. You've got lots of areas, large and small, where you can get hurt. So be careful. You know you can strain your back through exertion. But did you know you can overstress it sitting down, simply standing up too long, or lying in the wrong position? It's true. That's because your spine needs a neutral posture similar to an S-curve. You may have noticed you stretch backward when your back hurts after you've been sitting or bending. That's because you're trying to move your spine back into this gentle S position. Too much weight can alter the natural S curve of the spine. A pot belly, which adds stress to your spine, can also strain your back muscles and discs. It's another reason to keep your weight in check. Maintaining a healthy weight, you can do something about that. But the thing you can't avoid is aging. As we get older, our back muscles lose strength. Our discs can wear, aggravating the nerves in our backs. And osteoarthritis can cause aches and pains. You can't prevent aging, but you can take care of yourself to lessen its effects. You can head off back pain if you remember your back is delicate and can be injured if you place it in awkward positions, overexert yourself, or forget to maintain the gentle S curve. As you're about to see, back injuries can be painful, difficult to treat, and long-lasting. Maybe you've known someone who has hurt his back in a car accident. Or maybe an industrial accident involving a fall or a forklift. Impacts like these can lead to serious back injuries that may require surgery to correct, or worst case scenario, can cause a lifelong disability. But even everyday events, like standing too long in one place, can cause problems as well. People who use their bodies in certain ways are more likely to develop a back injury. These risk factors include lifting and the use of extreme force. This could include lifting a box that's too heavy or moving furniture incorrectly. Repeating motions. Examples include a worker sitting at a computer or someone working on an assembly line neither taking a break nor switching positions. Awkward or static postures. You've seen this before. For example, when someone reaches awkwardly for a box on that top shelf. It could also be someone standing too long in one position without a break. Contact stress. Contact stress, that's when your wrist rests on the edge of a table or desk, or when you're using a hard edge tool and it digs into your skin. Maybe you've noticed you do these some of the time. So what? You haven't been hurt yet. However, over time, your back can suffer when you neglect it in these ways. It's like not changing the oil in your car. You can get away with it for a while, but eventually these things catch up to you. Remember, you need to use your head to keep your back safe and strong. Now, let's look at some of the warning signs you should look for. 
most back problems grow worse over time, though a few develop after only one wrong move. Because most problems develop gradually, you'll be able to ward off injury if you learn to watch for warning signs. First, you should watch for muscle fatigue or aching that goes away with rest. That's a common warning sign. Other symptoms include numbness, burning, stiffness, and tingling. These may go away temporarily if you stop the movement that brings them on. Also, look for a decreased range of motion. That's when your body won't move as far as it once did, such as when you can't turn your head as far to the side anymore. You need to seek medical attention if you notice any of these symptoms. The earlier you catch back problems, the more likely you can head off serious damage. Now that we've looked at the back, how it works, and the warning signs of problems, let's turn to some things you can do to protect your back. Here are a few tips for the workplace that may save you from pain and injury. Watch carefully as we show you how to lift properly. First, evaluate the load you want to lift. Is it light enough to carry or too heavy? Can you get someone to help you carry it? Can you separate the item to be lifted into several pieces so it won't be so heavy? We'll look at machines that do the lifting for you in a few minutes. Now that you've figured out how you can lift the item safely, you need to get in the proper lifting position. Stand close to the load. With a firm footing, center your body. Keep both feet flat, knees bent slightly. Bend your hips a little and look up to keep the natural curve of your spine. Making sure the load is close to your body, let your legs do the lifting and not your back. Get a good grip on the item and pull it close to your body. Now lift it straight up, making sure you don't twist. As you carry the load, be careful to watch where you're going. Keep your back in a natural position and avoid awkward motions. Reverse the procedure to put down the item you lifted. Get in position, bend your knees using your legs and not your back, and carefully let go of the load making sure you do not twist. These lifting techniques apply to all of us, whether we work in a manufacturing plant, in an office, or in some other environment. Lifting correctly is very important, but there are a lot more things you can do to protect your back. Some of them are as easy as getting off on the right foot. That's right, choosing the right footwear can help your back. Low-heeled comfortable shoes are the best. You want to avoid high heels, which can throw you off balance and strain your lower back. Foot pain from shoes that fit poorly can cause back pain. That's because you may alter your walk to take pressure off an aching foot, causing your muscles to strain and altering your natural alignment. If you stand and work a lot on concrete or steel, you may need to add cushioning insoles to help keep the stress from going to your knees and back. Bottom line, don't put your back at risk in order to wear the latest fad and footwear. A healthy back is a lot more important. Whatever your job, be sure to take your scheduled break. Whether you sit at a desk or stand on an assembly line, you want to change your position periodically. Why not take advantage of machines designed to make the job easier and take a load off your back? Forklifts allow you to lift more weight than you could with your body alone. Hand trucks and push carts also allow you to move heavy objects without straining your back. Your facility may have designed the work area so you avoid bending and reaching motions. Be sure to follow guidelines so you take advantage of equipment there to help you. This is a physical therapy center and it's no day spa, let me tell you. People who come here are usually in a lot of pain. I think they wish they had taken better care of themselves so they wouldn't have ended up here. So you won't make their mistakes, remember these key points. Your back is fragile. Do what you can to protect it, including watching your weight and exercising. Pay attention to the warning signs and seek medical attention if you notice back pain or discomfort. Keep your spine in the natural S-curve. Avoid reaching, twisting, and bending and pulling. Take advantage of tools designed to protect your back and be sure to set up your workstation in a back-friendly way. Pay attention to the guidelines in this video and you're likely to live your life without back pain. Use your head and your back will be healthy for a long time to come. You've learned ways to take care of your back. One of the smartest things you can do is exercise. Now I'm not talking about running a marathon or anything really strenuous. 
Just some simple exercises you can do to keep your back healthy. These exercises are designed to help maintain flexibility and strength and avoid back injury. If you already have back problems, please consult with your healthcare professional before starting any exercise program. Let's go ahead and start the exercises now. It's important to wear loose clothing. The first exercise we'll do is called the single knee to chest. Go ahead and bring your knee up toward your chest and slightly out to the side. Bring it up to stretch the muscles of the leg and back. It should be comfortable. Hold it briefly, alternate sides. Do each side about 10 times. If you have knee problems, it may be more comfortable to grab the leg underneath the knee and pull it up that way. Next exercise is called the hip roll. Same starting position, but bring your feet and knees together. Then you want to go ahead and roll your hips to the side, letting your low back comfortably twist. Again, there should be no pain with this exercise or any of the exercises. Go ahead and go to each side, pausing briefly. If your back is a little stiff, you may have trouble going over very far. You can go ahead and use a pillow or two off to the side to help act as bumpers so you can relax at the end range of your motion. The next exercise is called the lion. Go ahead and get on your hands and knees. You want to be comfortably on your hands and knees with your back relaxed and your knees apart. Go ahead and sit back on your heels, again going just as far as it's comfortable, and you want to stretch the muscles of your low back area. You want to make sure your knees are far enough apart that your stomach doesn't limit your range of motion when you sit back. Back up you come. Hold that briefly and do that one ten times as well. The fourth flexibility exercise is called the press up. Go ahead and lay on your stomach and you want the hands to either side slightly behind the shoulders. Go ahead and push your shoulders up with your arms and keep your low back relaxed and down. You want to come up and right back down and do about 10 of those. If this causes any discomfort, you can stop short of the top and come back down or if you're really not very flexible there, go ahead and prop on your elbows. You'd want to prop on your elbows for about 15 seconds and then go ahead and lay flat for 15 seconds and relax and then just prop back up on your elbows for 15 seconds again and this will help get your back flexible enough so you can advance to the other exercises. It's also important to be strong and we'll review some strengthening exercises at this point. So go ahead and lay on your back and what you want to do now is knees bent, feet on the floor and reach up with your arms off to the side so that your shoulders are coming up but your low back is staying down on the ground. You want to hold this for about six to ten seconds, back down, and then go in the opposite direction. If you have any neck problems, this may aggravate them, so if this causes any neck pain, don't do it. And now our final strengthening exercise is a wall slide. The wall slide is a great exercise for maintaining leg strength. Leg strength is important so that you can use proper body mechanics when lifting. You want to go ahead and get against the wall, leg 6 to 12 inches away from the wall, slide down the wall till your knees are about 90 degrees. You want to hold that position for 10 to 15 seconds and then back up. If you're not in great shape like Toby, you might want to slide down a little less far and hold the exercise not quite as long. That's the final exercise in our series. Flexibility and strengthening exercises are a good idea for anyone who wants to maintain back health. After all, it's your back, it's your responsibility.